I'm working on getting my hatches secured. We cut these holes out a long time ago. I've got foam in there to uh, create a seal. And then I've got my hatch covers that pretty much look like this. And I used Okumi plywood and oak for the, for the trim. And uh, just all put together with little pieces of marine plywood. Now what I've done tonight is I found the center and I cut a little piece of plywood and I wood glued that in here. I'm using Tight Bond 3. And the reason I did that is because I'm going to drill a hole through there. And then I'm going to run these bolts. i got to make like a little knob to put on the end of here. And then I cut out these pieces of wood. These are 10 inches long. And the idea is they're going to be on the back side of the, the hatch with the bolt coming through here and then turn on the inside against the inside frame and lock it down. It may be kind of hard to visualize right now, but we'll do enough video that it'll make sense. I got these four inch stainless machine screws and then this one I already got the, the bolt or the nut in. See there? And so what I did is I I used a 7 16 bit and drilled these holes out and the nut on the end of the bolt it needs to fit in there. Now that's very tight and I took another one at a half inch and that was way too loose so I took the nut off of this other bolt for this one and I basically just put it on a nice hard flat metal surface and took the hammer and started beating it in there and then I put a little bit of glue in there to hold it and so now this bolt will be coming from the outside going through the hatch door and then on there and then it will be able to spin on there and as you tighten it then it will turn let's say that it's coming coming through here like that through the the hatch coming like that and then this is on the inside and it'll turn we'll put some blocks on the inside of the frame on the inside and then as you tighten this it'll pull this piece of wood down against the back side of the inside of the framing on the inside of the hatch and should pull the hatch door tight okay so I got the hole saw and I just drilled out some mahogany and uh, here's one I just did so these are going to be my knobs and I'm not sure what size hole saw this is. This is getting stuck inside here. I'm going to take a little bolt or something and stick through here with a hammer and beat that out of there. Got to be kind of cool though so you don't mess it up. But I think they'll work as far as knobs on the outside. We'll see. Man, talk about getting lucky. Okay, here's the these uh, deals. I just cut these out with the hole saw. And check this out, the pilot hole that was already in here, right here, That's there's a, a pilot drill that goes down when the, the hole saw is, is cutting out the rest of that. And the point of the hole saw is to actually drill a hole through a piece of wood, but I'm taking the, the donut hole basically out of it. Check this out. That just screws right in there and it's tight. Look at that. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to screw these on here just a little bit. I'm going to take them over to the, uh, the sander over there and uh, just kind of smooth them up, round them off, and, and uh, get those cleaned up a little bit. And then I'll glue those bolts in, screw them all the way down and glue, glue those bolts in. So, uh, anyway, that should be pretty cool. Where's the other one? Yeah, right there. Right there. Okay. Okay, so what i got to do is... I want these to be able to fit inside the hatch like this and 
we'll put the, the screw, the bolt, all the way through from the front side with the knob on the front, be able to twist it. But in order to keep this thing from spinning around on the inside of there, I got to put some little blocks in there. So I cut out some oak, little oak blocks. And for the time being, I'm just going to try to glue them in there and see if they'll stay. I've got this type on glue, and so I'm just going to glue them right in there. Obviously, you can't see that, but um, and if that doesn't work, I can drill them maybe and run a, a little screw in there to hold them. But then the idea is that once the block's in there, when this goes in there, it turns, it'll catch on that block, and it won't be able to turn anymore, and then we'll be able to tighten the screw up which should pull the hatch door close in on this seal. So that's what we're going to try to do. And for the longest time, I couldn't figure out a latching mechanism to get them to where they would stay in, their, in the slots and the holes and not uh, jump around or fall out. And i I got to give credit to a, uh, another YouTube fellow that was building some kayaks, and he had a watertight hatch that he'd made and I just loved how simple it was. I varied what I've done slightly from what he did, but it's the overall same basic content, uh, basic idea. And so I will uh, reference him in the, in the notes uh, in this video. And so thank you to him. And I can't remember his name right now, I'm sorry. But anyway, um, we've been working on this. We've got these little mahogany knob handles that... Uh, we made by putting the, just using the keyhole saw, we saw that a little bit earlier. Then I countersunk the holes for the bolts to go through, and I tried to fill it with epoxy and sawdust in the top of there, but it didn't look very good, so I cut out some real thin little pieces of cedar. I just have some of these veneer-type pieces laying around, and, and wood glued that all on there, and it's beautiful. And then I took it over on the belt sander and just uh, sanded it off smooth. In order to get it to, to, uh, to glue up, I just put it in the clamp like that. And uh, on this one, you can see that the, the edges are still rough. It's, I, I still need to take this one over and, and uh, sand it down, but uh, I'm really pleased with how it came out. There's no rough edges. Um, if you sail, you know that... Um, if it can get fouled, it will. So the fewer things that I have for lines to get caught on, uh, the better off we are. And so I'm thinking that when this is in here like this and fit on the face of that, I, that shouldn't be much of anything to get really caught on. Of course, I'm gonna wanna sand these off smooth. But I think now you're kind of starting to see what, what the idea here is. Then we take this part. Now, the way I've got the bolt in there it's pretty much flush on this side, but so indented there. So being that it would take much more to pull it on through the hole, I'm going to make this the back side of it. And then I'm going to put it on here. And we have a little glue on the threads, but it's going. And I believe I'll get some sort of a locking nut to put on the end of there so that this can't come all the way out. But um, anyway, so now we've got this on here, and the idea is that you turn it like this to put it down in the hatch, and then when you start screwing it, it should catch on that little block that we put in there last night. And um, I'll shut off the video for a second and get it set up to where we can see if that works. Okay, so here it is, and um, you can't have it screwed down too tight because it will just start banging against the insides of the frame here, and I already did that. Um, so you kind of got to have it open a little bit like, like so, but then you put it in there. Now oh, this is poor. This should be on the other side, but it's working. So you put it in there like that and make sure that it's pushed in enough to get past the frames or the inside of the frame. See, it's already caught. Okay, so you unscrew it, then screw it on there. Now, right now, the 
the piece is at an angle like that. And so I'm going to try to do it so that you might hear it click against the little blocks on this side over here. That's it. Did you hear it? Well, that's tight. Not coming out. Ha! Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.